Okay, let's do a quick simple example. Here's example 4.21 from the textbook. So we have a rigid body, okay, it's a, a simple bar. Measured from this point O, right, to 2 meters okay, in the x direction. Now, this bar is subject to this distributed loading, okay, Wx, which is force per length, given as 60x squared, okay. So, it's power 2. So, it has a shape like this, alright. So, you're asked to find the equivalent single force, okay, that represents this loading, okay. So, we replace this loading, distribute the loading by one single force, okay. So, I want to draw it like something here, right, called FR. Find this FR magnitude as well as where it is applied. X bar. Okay, so FR as the definition is this, X bar given as this. Well, just plug it in. Simple as that. So, let's do the math. So, this is the integral of WX given as 60X squared DX. Integrate from 0 okay, to 2 meters. That's it. Okay, so take 60 out. Okay. Left x squared dx. Okay, so x squared integrated so one third of x cubed from zero to two. Right, plug that in. Do the math. Crunch numbers. Now this is the steps where you can start using calculators. Okay, so but all the way from here to here, uh, you don't need calculators at all. Right, so in fact you can. So to plug in some more, right? So you can do, right? Um, so two third, okay, well, three minus zero third over three, okay? So let me just erase this. Uh, give some more space. Okay. So this is just zero, right? Uh, this is eight over three, okay? So twenty. So, 20 by 8, 160. That's all. <laughs> In fact, you don't need calculators at all for this problem. Alright? 160 newtons. That's it. That's my FR. Where is the pi? So, we need to find X bar. So, use this equation X times, this is really DF, right? Divided by give it x, dx. Okay, so again plug that in. So x times wx is 60x squared dx. Down here, this right here is exactly fr, right? So we've already found that. That's exactly 160 newton. So for the numerator, just combine terms. So 60x third dx, again, integrate from 0 to 2, 0 to 2, okay, 160. Take constants out, so 60 over 160, okay, so what's left, x cubed dx, 0 to 2, right, so you can split, split the simplify a little bit, so, and divide the whole thing by 2 again, so just 3 over 8, right? times, Integrate this, so it's going to x to the power of 4 divided by 4, 0 to 2. Keep going, 3 over 8. Plug it in here, so 2, 4 divided by 4 minus, so 0 minus the power of 4, so this will turn to go away. So this is 16, so 3, 8 times 16 divided by 4, which is 4. Right, and then for the simplify, 2, so 2 over 2, okay, which is 1.5 meters. Pretty sweet. So this is 1.5 meters. Okay, so you can come back here and write down the answer in the end. Okay? So, simple as that. See, go through the calculations. You know, most of the time, if you know this function, what it is, integration is pretty straightforward. Okay? And 
the problem, you don't need calculators at all. Alright, so give the steps, right? In exam quiz situations, you really need to show me the steps. Okay? So as much detail as you can, like this. Alright? And you find FR and this X bar where this X FR is being applied. Okay? Now in this picture right here, it's kind of superimposed, right? This distributed load and this single equivalent resultant force. You can also think of it as how to balance these two pictures. Okay, let's say you have this bar. You're subjected to this force. Okay, this force loading, uh, distributed loading right here. Okay, if you were to balance it, okay, at a single point, okay, it would be exactly at this 1.5 meters point. Okay, right, and these two cases will have the exact same moment. Okay, so the moment created by this distributed loading, it's the same moment created by this FR. Okay, so this is one example, and make sure you go through all the assigned problems, okay, just so that you're comfortable with this, um, the terminologies and the kind of calculations. Okay, just a little bit of calculus, not bad.